Do you know much about Islam already, or? Um, I vote, I, I read a little bit about it, but uh -huh. I wanted to kind of get a re-grab of it. So Excellent, I'll let me give you a few, like, give me a minute, and I'll just give you a little bit about Islam. How's that? Okay, right? sure. So the base belief is we believe in one creator, right? Okay. That one creator has no children, no parents, no brothers, no right. sisters, no wife. Just a great creator that, that is the greatest. He's the most knowledgeable, most knowing. He knows everything. He created me and you with purpose. Okay. What is the purpose? For us to first and foremost recognize Him and then spend our life in worshiping Him, right? right. Not just pray all day, but everything we do, we do it in the halal, the correct way, right. the permissible way, so it becomes like a worship, right? right, right. That Creator sent us guidance uh -huh. through prophets, right? Okay. There are angels, there are, there are other creations of, of that one great Creator. But that Creator loved the human so much, He made us the best of creation. Right. And to guide us, the first and foremost from Adam being a prophet, then Noah and Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace right. be upon all of them. Those are all guides that that one Creator sent to put us on the right path. Right. So if you're in the time of a prophet, like if I'm in the time of Jesus, I follow Jesus, peace be upon Him, I love Him. If I'm in the time of Moses, I follow Him, peace be upon Him, I love Him. Right. We are in the time of the last prophet, which is the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon Him. So we got to follow Him. Worship none but that one creator. And why is that? Can I ask you? Go for it. Why right, my it? minute's over. Why I'm just kidding. <laughs> why is it that error? That's what I'm saying. Why is it? So this is the thing, right? Everything has an error, right? Like imagine if you were when the world first began or the first yeah. humans on earth, whatever so you it's may like believe. The end of time? So it is getting to the end of time yeah. for yeah, sure. I yeah. So too. yeah. Good, you already got that Muslim belief. So yeah. we have a belief that the world will end and then there'll be a day of resurrection, a day of judgment, and then there'll be the life of the hereafter, right? right. So think of it this way. You have already been through different lives, right? I don't mean reincarnation. Let me tell you what I mean. First, you were a soul, uh -huh. a ruh, what we call a ruh, a soul, right? right? And there was a state of being called alam al arwah, like you were just all souls. We were all souls, uh -huh. and we met each other. And that's why sometimes, like, you meet somebody and immediately, like, you like them. Right. You know, you click with them, right? right. Because your souls already met, right? right? Then you died from that life. Like that was a different existence. You didn't eat food like we do here. Right. You didn't. You did meet people, but very differently, right? Then you came into the life of the womb of the mother. Uh -huh. A total different existence. Now, you got a physical body, right? right? But look at your reality in the womb, right? You don't eat like you do here. You got an umbilical cord that feeds you. You don't speak to other people. You don't read. You don't write. You don't walk around. You just that little bubbles your whole world, right? You, you're breathing in through liquids, right? Like imagine that's like right. so different. After about nine months, you die from that life. Like that life is over now. Right. And you come into the womb of this earth, right? Total different. Now you breathe air. Right. If you got liquids all up in your lungs right now, you die from it, right? right. So, you suffocate from it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, so now you are transitioning in your process, right? right? But this is just another step. The womb of this life, who knows? From, you know, a few hours to 100, 200 years, this is going to be the life of this world, right? right. But from this life, everybody's going to die. Allah says in the Quran, Kullu nafsan maut. Every soul shall taste death, right? People want to evade death, you can't. Like this life right. is meant for us to just live temporarily, right? right, right. But this life is a test, right? This life is like examination hall. Like going back to school, they'd be like, oh, you got your finals, you got like one hour to do it, time right. sets on. This life is a test. The answers are already given to us by the Creator. Ready you for the spirit world. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. To ready you for the next, for the hereafter. Yeah. You're on it, man. You're on it. <laughs> right? So think about that, right? The answer is already given, but we don't know how long we have to finish the test. Uh -huh. Like you could live a hundred years or you could die today. Right? Right. You don't know. But that's the thing. In this life, you have to recognize your... That's why you came here today. This wasn't an accident. Allah wrote for you to come here and listen to this, right? right. But now it's going to be your choice. Do you accept that guidance? Or, or do you say, you know, I'm too busy for that. I can't give this up. I can't give that up. This, this is the test, right. right? You accept the guidance, you, you pass the test, right? When you die from the life of this world, you'll go into the womb of the grave, right? With another life. Even if somebody burns their ashes and shatters them all over the, you know, or scatters them all over the world or whatever, Allah will bring them all together, right? right. So now you're in the grave. It's called barza. Like this is a different state of existence. You're not going to eat like the way you do. You're not going to meet people the way you do. Different state of existence, right? Then Allah will raise us on the day of judgment. New bodies, right? Now we stand account, right? Now 
nobody gets away with like you know in life sometimes you see like a rapist murderer whatever like a really horrible person and he never gets caught like they're like oh he got away with it right. nobody gets away with anything right. the justice of the creator is there right he will take everybody to account so you're whether you believe <laughs> exactly right so now that's why as a muslim you always live your life trying to do your best to never break any of the laws of the creator never harm anybody why because you know that in the end even if the people don't catch you your creator will right. even if people don't see you your creator does right. right now on the day of judgment you give your account if you pass your test you go to an everlasting paradise right that's the real life. It's that accountability in the spirit realm, like you're not getting away with it. So, so that's it. You, you, after that though, then there's only two destinations. Right. Either you're going to be condemned forever or you're going to be living it up forever. Right? right? That's the real life. That's the one that we're in the test to prepare for. Right? What do you think about it? All right. Very interesting. I want to read it and, and Excellent, understand but it more. Yeah. How do you like the belief set though? I think it's, I think it's... Doesn't it make sense? It sounds like it's very sensible. Right? Yeah, right? Really I mean, yeah. imagine somebody says, oh, this guy is going to die for your sins. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, imagine somebody else, like, let's say you kill somebody, and then put that guy, like, oh, he's a nice guy, he's going to put him to death for it. Right. Like, that doesn't make sense. But I think there's a lot of, for me personally, I've, I've explored a lot of different religions. Recently. Right. I think there's a lot of truths to a lot of religions with a lot of things. But <laughs> then you have to kind of figure out like you know you kind of have to figure out what is just um man-made and yeah, all that so that, like, that so that's the thing like, like, if you look is, at like has real truth to it if you look at the yeah. earlier scriptures right like if you look at the message of moses and abraham and and jesus you will find that they are like the message of muhammad peace and blessings be upon them in the in the pure form because that's the same creator that sent them the message right, right? so moses like he would tell his people don't worship the calf, don't worship others, don't worship any, no idols, right? right. Same message we give, right. same message Jesus gave, peace and blessings be upon all the prophets, right? right? But what gets man-made are the corruptions, are the changes, right. right? Where they start taking a prophet and make him God, right? We know that God doesn't sleep, God doesn't forget things, God doesn't get killed, right? I mean, God is the creator of all that, like, right. does that make sense? Right? So, the message that you find true throughout the different religions, or is the true one message that the Creator sent. Right. And the thing that you find man-made and changed, we can look at, right? right? If you look at the Old Testament, the New Testament, when the changes were made, how they were changed, what, what authors that wrote from their own hands and attributed to God, we know all of that history-wise, right? But in Islam, we preserve the message. How? We have the Qur'an as it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, right? right. From that time, there were Muslims that memorized the whole Qur'an. Right. right. We don't have anybody who was a follower of Jesus, peace and be, blessings be upon him from his time that memorized the whole New Testament as it is today because it wasn't even written as the way it is today. Right, like that right. true message that was sent to him was yeah. taken and hidden right. and all that. Later on, people writing in Kuni Greek attributed Taking things, right? The regular tongue. Exactly. But not us. Why? Because we have that original Quran right. memorized in hearts and minds, right? right. Man, word by word, like we can tell these brothers recite uh, a particular chapter, we can test them right now. And they'll recite the chapter right there. Why? Because they memorize the Quran. Right. Not the whole Quran, everybody. But there are millions around the world today that have memorized the whole Quran. Letter by letter, word by word. Right. So nobody could change it. Nobody could add anything to it. Because if one person tries to change it, a million people are like, oh, 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 oh I got that right here. <laughs> and we have written manuscripts that can be carbon dated to the first generation that you can match up and recite from. So you see, putting that together, this is the only message that was preserved, right? So if you want that pure message, I'm gonna give you this as well. Three, this is the Quran itself, Okay. right? You got the intro book and then you got the Quran. Okay. Read it and come back and talk to us, right? There's no pressure, okay. but remember, you never know when life will end, right? So when you find the truth today, right now, it's it. It's your only promise. You're not promised tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. You're not even promised the end of the day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Today, you just in, have now. Right? You have yeah. now. So when you find the truth, accept it now. Okay. Right? All right. Thank All right. You. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.